Good morning again. Welcome to my twisted beanstalk. I just built red paint all over here. I tipped it. I tipped it like a sleeping cow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never done that. I would never do that. I love cows. So this, um, I just uh, baked my cradle kit. This one is uh, the, this one is a, what is it called? It's the, um, oh my God, I could see the face, but I can't think of the, uh, anyways, I've been kind of periodically painting this one. Uh, so I'm just gonna let my cradle kit cool down a little bit because I just took it out. I just took it out of the, of the oven. It's so what I do in the mornings, bake babies. So, uh, yeah, so this one, I've been really, I've been kind of working on it like now and then, like it's not one that I work on every day, but I just, I have other ones to do and I'm just feeling unmotivated. Like I hate when that happens. I hate when I feel unmotivated like that. Ugh, it's, it's like I lose my mojo for a few days, you know? It's like, come back! Come back! And then it does eventually. Why does that feel weird? I use this one. This one's like my favorite detail brush. And um, I actually... I got so yeah let me let me tell you this before I forget so in my last video I was explaining how I needed to go to Costco and I hate going because it's like a gong show every time I go there but because I have four children I have no choice but to shop at Costco so I was like uh whatever I'm just gonna go because it, it's 20 minute drive too because I live out like in the middle of nowhere so I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna go get it done, which it was my first full day at home by myself. So I, I kind of wanted to stay at home and just, you know, start getting, feeling into the swing of things. So I was like, what, whatevs. I go to Costco, I do my shopping, and can you believe I go to check out and I freaking couldn't find my bank card. I could not find it anywhere and that's never happened to me before. I was like, what? I felt so stupid too. I was like, where? And I'm like checking every part of me. I'm even checking like in my bra, like, oh, maybe I shoved it in here or something, you know, like, where is it? And I had my Costco card to get in to Costco, but I, uh, yeah, I could not find my bank card. So I had to leave my cart and I needed dog food too. Like it wasn't an option of not getting dog food yesterday because I ran out, which I don't even normally run out, but yesterday I did. So yeah, anyways, couldn't find my stupid bank card. Then realized that I left it on my kitchen counter. Wah, wah. That's how I felt. It's like, ugh, are you serious right now? I've never done that before. I didn't even have any checks because I ran out of my checkbook and I purposely don't go get more so that I spend less money. Ugh. So I ended up because, and like I live far too. So it's not like I can just be like, oh, I'm just gonna drive home and go pick it up and come back. Like that's like an extra friggin' an hour and a half worth of driving. Like I'm not that motivated. So I just went and like, I had some cash on me. So I just went to the pet store and picked up like a smaller bag instead of the ginormous bag. So that was that. Yay, Bean. Yay. Good for you. Good for you for failing at Costco. God, how annoying is that? So annoying. So, uh... Anyways, that was that. I got some supplies yesterday. A few of you guys did not let me forget, so thank you. <laughs> True story. 
So I went and I got pantyhose because I was completely out. It blows my mind too when I run out because usually when, like when I buy supplies, I buy it in bulk. I have to because I hate, I never used to, like I used to do everything separately and I'd go like shopping inside of Carter's and like go to other stores and this and that. And now I just don't have time to do any of that. So, I mean, now I will that my kids are in school, but like before I've now, now I do my shopping online. I didn't think that I would do that, you know, cause I really enjoyed shopping, but yeah. So now I buy, I buy everything in bulk. So point of my story is my, the pantyhose, I usually buy like about five or six packages of knee highs. And then that lasts me quite a while. And it, it always blows my mind when I run out. I'm just like, holy, like, you know, cause that just goes to show you how many babies are being sold. It's pretty awesome. So you'll see what this is in a second. It's this one. See, oh, he's so cute. Oh, I'm actually, I put these eyes in just to kind of see what it would look like with those kind of eyes. So I'm just going to pop his eyeballs back out. Because um, I was just, I've been kind of like just trying on different colors. So I'm just going to put those there and um, I'll put them back in when I do a little more a little more of the color but it's a really cute kit it's uh it's the print so uh ping lao i know it's a ping lao sculpt and uh so i was i haven't made a zombie in like a long time and i kind of i still really like well i like them and i'll make them for like monster shows and stuff but um, oh gosh, I've been loving making pixies. Like I have just been loving doing that because it's like just so creative. It allows me to be really, really creative and to use a lot of different color, which is one of my favorite things. So I have been making quite a bit of pixies, but, and I, and I feel kind of weird making this into a zombie that that's the one thing because it is a it is a sculpt um that is that is based off of the prints so um not prince william God, why am i so i seriously wonder about myself sometimes but he's super cute and of course i'm gonna i'm doing the fantasy coloring sometimes I don't even know if I can go back to normal. Actually, you know what? I did just do a normal baby. I did. I'll show you guys. And she's a full body. And I think that's going to be the last time I do the full body babies. It's off like silicone because it is such a pain in the ass to put those things together. And, and you have to make sure that your paint is super, super thin because it'll crack when you're putting them together. I mean, like I felt bad for the doll when I was putting it together yesterday. I mean, I shouldn't have to feel bad cause it's a doll, but I do. I'm just like, you poor thing. Like, geez. And I totally used some, a few choice words too that my five-year-old probably picked up. I was like, son of a bleep. And I can't even say the second word that I said because I can't even bleep it out. So I'm going to do some more details on his face, but I'm going to just let it dry a little bit here. And um, so I'm going to pause this and make another one because it's already long enough. So 